For too long, our government, our courts, haven't looked like America. And I believe it's time that we have a court that reflects the full talents and greatness of our nation with a nominee of extraordinary qualifications. President Joe Biden on Friday announced his pick for the Supreme Court, nominating federal appellate judge Katanji Brown Jackson to succeed retiring liberal justice Stephen Breyer. If confirmed in the closely divided Senate, 51-year-old Jackson will become the first black woman appointed for the lifetime job with the nation's top courts and the sixth woman ever to serve on the courts. I am standing here today by the grace of God as testament to the love and support that I've received from my family. Speaking from the White House, Judge Jackson said she happens to share a birthday with the first black woman ever to be appointed as a federal judge, Constance Baker Motley, whose career inspired her own professional journey. And if I'm fortunate enough to be confirmed as the next Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States, I can only hope that my life and career, my love of this country and the Constitution, and my commitment to upholding the rule of law and the sacred principles upon which this great nation was founded will inspire future generations of Americans. Biden described the Harvard-educated Jackson as a deeply qualified and distinguished jurist, adding, During this process, we look for someone who, like Justice Breyer, has a pragmatic understanding that the law must work for the American people. The president called on the Senate to move quickly to confirm her. If Democrats remain united, no Republican votes would be needed. The Senate's last year voted 53 to 44 to confirm Jackson to her current position on the influential U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit. Though Senator Lindsey Graham, one of three Republicans who voted for her on Friday, said Jackson's nomination showed the radical left has won President Biden over yet again. Jackson, who was raised in Miami, earlier in her career represented criminal defendants who could not afford a lawyer and eventually served eight years as a federal district judge. She was part of a three-judge panel that ruled in December against former President Donald Trump's bid to prevent White House records from being handed over to a congressional panel investigating the Capitol attack. While Jackson wouldn't change the 6-3 conservative tilt of the court, Her nomination enables Biden to refresh its liberal wing with a much younger jurist who could serve for decades.